Hi pumpkin, it's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be decorating our front porch for fall. Let's get started. Let me show you how it looks undecorated. To save time, I already added the fall leaf garland to the outer edge of my porch. I always like to begin by adding a fall wreath to my front door. The next thing I like to do is add a scatter rug. Then I like to layer in a seasonal rug. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love to add in my fall front porch sign. Let's decorate this side first and then we'll decorate the other side. I'm gonna start by adding in this hay bale. Yes, I'm going to leave it in the plastic because I don't want it to be too messy. Then I'm gonna add this pumpkin right on top. Now I'm gonna come in with my faux mums that I got from Joann's last year. I'm so excited to be using this galvanized metal bucket that says hand-picked farm fresh pumpkins 50 cents a pound. And I'm just going to add this right here. And of course I'm gonna place pumpkins in it but so that I don't have to use as many pumpkins, I'm going to take some grocery bags, shove them in at the bottom, and then I'm going to start layering in my pumpkins. Just like that. Because you can see a little bit of the grocery store bags in between the pumpkins, I'm gonna do a little trick to cover that up. This may be an unexpected element. We have some of our plants around our yard are starting to dry out and die. So my son was trimming them and I said, save that stuff for me because I'd like to use it in my fall decorating. So this is actually what we're gonna be using to fill in these pumpkins. And it's free. Kind of looks a little bit like hay. The next thing I wanted to add in was this metal stand. When I saw that my daughter's flowers that had bloomed this summer were drying up, I thought to myself, these look like little mini corn stalks. So I told my son when he was trimming up our yard to save them for me because I wanted to use them in my fall front porch decorating. Aren't they cute? I just added them to this long pail. Then I decided I would use this little sign that I've had for many years out here on my front porch, a place that I've never used it before. I've always used it inside. Well, today it's coming out. To mirror my mom on the other side, I'll be adding in this one. I wanted to mention that I added this galvanized metal to mirror this galvanized metal 
To mirror the hay bale and the pumpkin on the other side, I'll add one to this side and add a pumpkin on top to complete that look. Since I have a smaller front porch, I'm going to be adding some decor out here to extend the length of my front porch. I'll begin by adding in this pumpkin that was given to me by my parents last year for Christmas and I get to use it this year. Then I'll come in with this sweet little whimsical pumpkin right next to it. And to extend the length to this side, I'm going to add this yard stake over here. Are y'all ready for the reveal? All right, my pumpkins, that wraps up today's fall front porch decorate with me video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a like. Please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece of fall decor or comment below and let me know if you've started decorating your front porch for fall. I'd love to hear about it. Also, please consider subscribing. This is the first video to my fall decorating series and I'd love to have you come back and decorate with me so we can decorate together. If you're needing some more fall front porch decorating inspiration, please check out my videos from the last two years. I'll link them in the description below. As always, I thank you for spending a part of your day with me and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Then to this other side, I'll add in this warm autumn welcome sign. Oh, no. Ah, that didn't work. Okay.